Today, an autopsy will be done on the body of Molly Tibbetts. She's a University of Iowa student who went missing more than a month ago. Just yesterday, police announced her body had been found and a man who was living in the United States illegally was charged with first degree murder. Kaya Edwards is following this developing story. She joins us now with some of the key points from this case. Kaya. Alicia, Molly was only 20 years old, and it could be another four to six weeks before we learn how she died. That's when the autopsy results are expected to come out. But here's what we know so far. Police say this man, Christian Rivera, led investigators to a cornfield southeast of Brooklyn, Iowa, to a body believed to be that of Molly Tibbetts. The video was critical, I'll put it that way. Tibbetts went missing July 18th. A neighborhood canvas led investigators to security video showing a black Malibu driving back and forth in the area where Tibbetts was out jogging that day. Police say the car belonged to Rivera. He's 24 and Homeland Security says he's living in the U.S. illegally living in the Brooklyn area for the last four to seven years. During an interview with investigators, Rivera said he approached Tibbetts on her jog. He actually tells us that he ran alongside of her or behind her. And then at one point he tells us that Molly grabbed a hold of her phone and said, you need to leave me alone. I'm going to call the police. And then she took off running. He in turn chased her down. An affidavit says Rivera said he panicked and got mad then blocked his memory, eventually coming to at an intersection just outside of Brooklyn. He told police he noticed on his lap an earpiece from headphones and realized he put Tibbetts in the trunk. When he went to get her, he said he noticed blood on the side of her head. The affidavit says Rivera then took her to a farm field and used corn stalks to hide her. I can't really speak about the motive. Police say Rivera said he'd seen Tibbetts before, but police said they couldn't reveal the details. I can just tell you that um, it seemed that he followed her and seemed to be drawn to her on that particular day. And for whatever reason, he chose to abduct her. So tragic. And Kyle, this story is a lot of people talking on social media about the suspect Rivera mm -hmm. and immigration here in the United States. Right. A lot of people talking about his status, but ICE did confirm that he is here in the United States illegally from Mexico. After his arrest, ICE issued a federal immigration detainer. So what that means is ICE can take custody when local law enforcement releases him. If convicted, Rivera faces life in prison without parole.